press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hello students, we continue the next problem in exercise 4.2 up to I think the ninth problem is over in the last class, uh, tenth problem, <coughs> problem number 10, I written here, prove that, very important problem, prove that the angle, the angle between the angle between the two tangents two tangents drawn drawn from from an external point external point to a circle is supplementary supplementary to the to the angle subtended by the by the lines segment joining the points of contact at the center at the center. Supplementary angles, you know in 9th class, I think, 9th or 8th class, supplementary angle means if sum of angles, if sum of 2, 3 angles, if it is equal to 180 degree, then those angles we call it as what? Supplementary, supplementary angle, supplementary angle. Better first we draw the diagram. So, uh, we draw a circle. circle okay center is uh, o center is o i i let uh, here I, I draw a point p be a point outside the circle we draw the tangents P to A and P to B are the two tangents drawn from the external point are the two tangents drawn from the external point with respect to the point A and point B. So we join OA and OB. Okay. Observe here, prove that angle between two tangents drawn from the external point, this one, uh, this angle I call it as angle 1, that I don't know angle 1, simply point of contact to a circle, okay, is supplementary angle subtended by the line segment joining the point of contact at the center, this angle. that I call it as angle 2. What we have to prove? We have to prove angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to how much? 180 degree supplementary angles. Angle 1 plus plus angle 2. Angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to how much? 180 degree. So, okay. It is not a problem. It is a theorem. Okay. We did it as theorem. One more theorem. Theorem means first we given a circle with center O. Correct now? A circle with center O. 
एंड पी ए पी बी आर टू टाइम जेंट्स टू टाइम जेंट्स ओके देन टू प्रूव दैट टू प्रूव दैट टू प्रूव दैट वॉच एंगल पी सॉरी बी पी ए नॉट अगर ना सुवान ओके एंगल बी पी ए प्लस एंगल बी ओ ए एस आई कॉल्ड तो वन एटी डिग्री दैट मींस इन फिगर आई रिटर्न वन एंड टू That implies angle one plus angle two is is equal to how much? 180 degree. Angle one plus angle two is how much? 180 degree. Uh, one construction is better. We join OB and OE construction. Join. What are those? OE and OB. Join. O A and O B. Okay, proof. So I use theorem one. Okay, now according to the theorem one, this angle is ninety, and this angle is ninety. Correct. According to theorem one, this this one this two ninety degree. By theorem one, theorem one, O A. O A is perpendicular to what? P A and O B is perpendicular to P B. O A is perpendicular to P A. O B is perpendicular to P B. I write here. That implies angle OBP is equal to 90 degree. OBP is equal to 90 degree, and angle OAP is equal to what? 90 degree. OBP is 90 degree, and OAP is 90 degree, correct? Okay. See, observe here from figure O B P E. From figure O B P E. That was O Y B P. O Y P B. Is what is a cyclic quadrilateral. Correct now. Correct. Observe the carefully from figure O Y P B. Correct. O Y P B is a what? A cyclic quadrilateral. So you know the property in a cyclic quadrilateral. Sum of all interior angle is equal to how much? 360 degree. That implies. Angle one by one, so we go for anti-clockwise direction. Okay, O angle O A P O A P angle O A P. This one, this one is over. I write mark plus angle A P B angle A P B. This one is over plus angle P B O angle P. Sorry, P B O. This one is over. Plus angle B O Y. B O Y is how much? 360 degree. 360 degree. Okay, that implies O Y P. O Y P is 90 degree. Plus A P B. It is angle one. Correct. Plus. P B O 90 degree. B O A angle two is equal to how much? 360 degree. Is equal to 360 degree. 
So 90 plus 90, 180 plus period on angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to 360 degree. So if we shift 180 from left side to right side, it becomes minus. 360 minus 180. Correct now. 360 minus 180. Angle 1 plus angle 2 is, is how much? 180 degree. Angle 1 plus angle 2. Angle 1 plus angle 2 is what? Angle 1 plus angle 2. Angle APB plus angle AOB. Correct. APB plus A OB is equal to 180 degree over hence proof very important problem performers we are asking the examination hence proof understand okay we take one more problem <coughs> So, 11th problem in exercise 4.2, prove that, prove that the parallelogram, the parallelogram, the parallelogram circumscribing a circle is a rhombus. Circumscribing a circle is what? A rhombus. So, this problem, 11th problem, same as 8th problem, I think. Problem number 8. In 8, what we prove? Uh, AB plus CD is equal to what? AD plus BC. Little bit of difference. AB plus CD is equal to AD plus BC. Eighth problem, what we discussed in the last class. AD, AB plus CD is equal to AD plus BC. In that eighth problem, he has given ABCD. ABCD is a quadrilateral. Yes, na? ABCD is a quadrilateral. Here we take ABCD is a parallelogram. Here we take same proof what we discussed in the last class 8th problem. Same problem. So, the little bit of difference, the little bit of difference is in the 8th problem, he has given ABCD is a quadrilateral, cyclic quadrilateral. Here he, what he has given ABCD is a parallelogram. So, parallelogram circumscribing a circle, in a parallelogram circumscribing a circle, then it becomes a rhombus. Rhombus means all sides are equal. Okay. So, we prove the same concept what we discuss in the eighth problem. Okay. So, we draw a diagram. Diagram was not given. In eighth problem, the diagram is given. The same diagram we draw it. So, uh, what we do? We draw for circle. And we draw sorry, so clearly I draw better first I draw a parallelogram better in that we draw. A circle. This is what the circle. Okay. This is what the circle. Whose center is O. So we give on the alphabet letters either in clockwise or anti-clockwise direction A, B, C, D. Same diagram. 
but in eighth problem he has given a b c d is a cyclic order lateral here we say that a b c d is a parallelogram okay so the circle uh, will touch us a b that also we given at p uh, b c at q c d at r it is at yes okay what we have to prove a b c d is a rhombus means a b is equal to b c is equal to c d is equal to a d correct now these two are equal so we prove by theorem method so given a circle with center o and a b c d is a parallelogram that implies opposite sides are equal a b is equal to b c this one this one and a d is equal to b c okay ad is equal to what bc ab is equal to dc ad is equal to bc next the circle the sorry the parallelogram or else we write one by one first one one more given ab touches the circle at p second one bc touches the circle at q bc is touches the circle at q all right here bc i over bc touches the circle at r dc touches the circle at r and ad touches the circle at yes ad touches the circle at yes okay simple method so to prove to prove that a b c d is a to prove that all right to prove that a b c d a b c d is a rhombus okay a b c d is a rhombus okay so observe here proof i use the same proof what we discuss in the eighth problem a b the external point a p and a s are the tangent with respect to the point p and s by theorem 2 ap is equal to what as bp is equal to what bq okay cq is equal to what cr bs is equal to what dr we write very carefully okay so observe here by directly we write theorem 2 ap is equal to as by theorem 2 ap is equal to what as bp be careful you write because ab is nothing but ap plus bp okay bp is equal to bq bp is equal to bq next cq so bp is over cq is equal to what cr so i write here cr 
because dc is nothing but what cr plus dr cr is equal to cq both are same cq is equal to cr or cr is equal to cq nextly so ds because as plus ds dr plus cr okay dr dr is equal to what ds dr is equal to ds because one side for purpose of one side okay so this is according to the theorem 2 length of tangent ap is equal to as bp is equal to bq cq is equal to cr dr is equal to what dr is equal to what ds so call it as 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 okay what we do same method adding 1 2 3 and 4 adding 1 2 3 and 4 so ap plus bp plus cr plus dr is equal to as plus bq plus cq plus ds okay okay then observe here ab is nothing but ap plus bp so we tag this one we tag this one ap plus bp plus cr plus dr that's nothing but dc cr plus dr as as plus ds this one this one we take this one as plus ds one term plus i write below bq plus cq bq plus cq okay from figure we return okay from figure ab is equal to what ap plus pb ap plus pb dc dc is equal to what dr plus cr ad ad is what as plus sd bc bc is what bq plus cq okay ap plus bp ap plus bp is a thing but 1 by 1 this is 1 ab correct now plus dr plus cr second one dc is equal to as plus ds this one third one ad plus bq bq observe oh, here bq plus cq this one thing but bc this result we got ab plus dc ab plus dc is equal to what ad plus bc okay next line i write here so up to this same what we discuss in eighth problem up to this side same problem see observe here in the eighth problem observe carefully in eighth problem what has given ab cd is a quadrilateral correct na here what has given ab cd is a parallelogram i write here since ab cd is a parallelogram that implies very good that implies ab are done here mark ab is equal to what dc and ad is equal to bc ad is equal to bc okay observe the result what we got ab plus dc is equal to b we ab plus dc is equal to ad plus bc ab is equal to dc ab is equal to dc so instead of 
in place of dc i written ab that implies ab better uh, we call it as equation uh, i think 1 2 3 4 i think uh, 5 equation 5 becomes okay now ab plus dc in place of dc i written ab ab plus ab is equal to ad ad plus bc in place of uh, bc written ad ad plus ad ab plus ab is how much two times of ab two times of ad to get cancel what ab is equal to ad observe here ab is equal to what ad ab is equal to ad this result we got similarly what the? bc is equal to dc that means that implies abcd is is a rhombus hence proof abcd is a rhombus very important problem very important problem so i for my opinion it is not a problem it is a theorem a b c d is a wrong bus so what we discuss in eighth problem same up to this we covered so the, just little bit of extension a b c d in the eighth problem he asked a b c d is a quadrilateral he given but here a b c d is a parallelogram using this condition we prove that a b c d is a rhombus so, rhombus means all sides are equal a b is equal to b c is equal to d c is equal to a d hence a b c d is a rhombus understand so we take one more problem Next problem, I think the uh, twelfth problem, prove that that opposite sides sides of a quadrilateral opposite sides of a quadrilateral circumscribing a circle substand supplementary angles at the center of the circle at the center of the circle so according to me it is not a problem it is also a theorem prove that opposite sides of a quadrilateral circumscribing a circle sustain the supplementary angles of the center of the circle here also same type of diagram A, B, C, D is a quadrilateral. A, B, diagram has not given, but we have to write. Huh? A, B, C, D is a quadrilateral it circumscribing a circle with center is o. with center is o so what we have to uh, supplementary angle at the center see observe here prove that opposite sides of a quadrilateral this angle this angle 
O angle DOC plus angle AOB. Yes, na? Angle DOC plus angle AOB. These two are what? Opposite sides of the quadrilateral for the angle with respect to center. Is nothing but supplementary angle means it is equal to what? It is equal to 180 degree. This we have to prove. Angle DOC plus angle AOB. Angle DOC plus angle AOB is equal to 180 degree. Okay. So for that, what we do? We draw a construction. So the circle uh, AB touches at the point P. Here it is the point Q. R. And it that is yes. So join um, O. This is what O right here. Okay. O P O Q O R O S. Okay. So better first we write give one one by one step. In theorem method, we have to prove given a circle with center and A, B, C, D is a quadrilateral. Quadrilateral. Next line A, B touches the circle at P, P, P point B C touches the circle at Q point okay D C touches the circle at R A D touches the circle at yes ad touches the circle at yes correct okay the next step. to prove that to prove that any two angles you have take opposite uh, sides of the quadrilateral angle doc plus angle aob 180 degree these two angles these two angles correct now angle angle what DOC plus angle AOB is equal to 180 degree construction For that, join OP, OQ, OR, and OS. OP, OQ, OR, and OS. Okay. See, observe the dark proof. Observe the figure very carefully, very important. So, what we do? Uh, this angle is angle 1. 1 by 1, I write. Okay, proof. Let AOP angle, AOP angle 1. I go for anti clockwise or clockwise. A O P is angle 1. P O B angle angle what here I turn angle P O B angle 2. P O B angle 2. B O Q 
बी ओ क्यू एंगल थ्री एंगल थ्री बी ओ क्यू इज एंगल थ्री नेक्स्ट क्यू ओ सी क्यू ओ सी एंगल फोर दिस वन इज एंगल फोर सी ओ आर एंगल सी ओ आर एंगल फाइव दिस वन इज एंगल फोर आर ओ डी एंगल आर ओ डी एंगल सिक्स डी ओ एस डी ओ एस एंगल सवन लास्ट वन एंड एस ओ एस ओ एंगल एच सी ऑब्जर्व यार डी ओ सी मीन्स एंगल सिक्स प्लस फाइव एंगल सिक्स प्लस फाइव प्लस ए ओ बी मीन्स एंगल वन प्लस टू सिक्स प्लस फाइव प्लस वन प्लस टू इज इक्वल टू वॉट वी हेव टू प्रूव वन एटी डिग्री करेक्ट ना वन एटी डिग्री ओके दिस इज ओके सी अब सॉरी वी टेक दीज टू ट्राइंगल लेट ए बी द पॉइंट आउट साइड सो ट्राइंगल ए ओ एस ए ओ पी दिस टू आर कॉन्ग्रेट If these two are congruent, angle one is equal to angle H. If these two are congruent, two is equal to three, four is equal to five, six is equal to seven. So we take one by one. I write again above. I write again above. So I, I take what I write mark in the diagram. What I write mark in the diagram. This triangle in a triangle. what a o p and triangle a o p a o s a o p a o s see o a is equal to o a correct na observe here o a is equal to o a common Correct, common. And observe one again. OP is equal to OS. OP is equal to OS. Radii of the same circle. Correct. OP is equal to what? OP is equal to OS. Radii of the same circle. AP is equal to AS. By theorem two, theorem two, correct. By theorem two, AP is equal to what? AS. So by CPCT rule, triangle AOP is congruent to triangle what? AOS. According to the CPCT rule. Triangle A O P is congruent to triangle A O A O P is congruent to A O S. Yes, that implies. Observe carefully. Angle one is equal to angle H. Angle one is equal to angle H. These two are over. Similarly, similarly. See, observe carefully in the diagram. One is eight. I take this to triangle. This to triangle. Angle two is equal to what? Angle three. So this is over. This complete over. So I take these two. Two is equal to three. Similarly, this is over. I take these two. Four is equal to five. Equal to five. This is over. I take these two. Six is equal to seven. Angle six is equal to angle seven. 
this is very important result. 6 is equal to 7. This is a very important result. Okay. Observe here. This is nothing but what a cyclic quadrilateral. A cyclic quadrilateral means from figure. Angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 plus angle 4 plus angle 5 plus angle 6 plus angle 7 plus uh, up to angle 8. Angle 8 is equal to how much? 360 degree. Correct? 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 is equal to 360 degree. So, what we want? We want 6 plus 5. 1 plus 2, 6, 5, 1, 2, okay, 1, 2, so we write here one side, one side we write angle 6 plus angle 5 plus angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to 180, these two only we left, we left 1, 6, 5, which one? Two, correct now. Six plus five. D O C. Observe carefully diagram. D O C means six plus five. A O B means one plus two. In this one, we left only these two, these four terms. One and two, six and five. For that, what we do? We use this result. So uh, we call it as from one. It is two and three and four. From 1, 2, 3 and 4. 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, 3 we can return as, observe carefully, carefully you have to observe, 3 we can return as 2 because we left only these terms. So, we all convert 3, 4, 7, 8 in terms of 1, 2, 5, 6. From 2, 3 we can return as 2. So, I write 1 as it is, that implies angle 1 plus angle 2 plus 3 we can return as angle 2. This is over. This is over. I write mark and in top. 4 we return as 5 plus angle 4 from 3 from 3 clear. 4 we return as 5. This is also over. 5 and 6 we write as it is. Root 5 plus root 6. Okay. 7 we return as 6 from 4 plus 7 we return as 6. This is also over. 7 we return as 6. 8 we return as 1 from 1. This is also over. It is equal to 360 degree. Is equal to 360 degree. So I rub this one. One D also I rub. So we want. Okay. Left. See, 1 plus 1, 2 times of 1, plus 2 times of 2, plus 2 times of 5, plus 2 times of 6. You see how much? 360 degree. What we do? We take 2 common, 2 times of angle 1, plus angle 2, plus angle 5, plus angle 6 is how much? 360 degree. Angle 1, that implies angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 5 plus angle 6 is equal to 360 divided by 2 is how much? 180 degree. Angle 1 plus angle 2 is nothing but that implies angle AOB. This one, yes? AOB plus 5 plus 6 is nothing but angle DOC. These two are opposite angles. Yes, now with respect to the center O in a cyclic quadrilateral ABCD is equal to 180 degree. If sum of these two angles is 180 degree. Hence, it is supplementary angle. Hence, proof. Hence, proof. Observe the problem very carefully. Hence, proof. Very simple method. Very easy one. Okay, very important problem. So, hence proof. Okay, we take one more problem.
in uh, 4.2 exercise this is the last problem so sir in circle chapter this is the last problem 12th question sorry 13th one a triangle abc is drawn to circumscribe a circle of radius four centimeter such that the segments BD and DC into which BC is divided by the point of contact D are of length eight centimeter and six centimeter respectively find the sides of sides AB and AC. Find the sides of AB and AC. He has given the diagram also. In that he has given circle firstly we draw a circle This diagram he has given, but it is very lengthy problem. OD it is what six centimeter, it is what eight centimeter. We construct these two. O D E this one we return as E and F. If this is six centimeter, C F is also six centimeter. According to the theorem two. According to the theorem two. If this is eight centimeter, this one is also eight centimeter. So he asks A B and AB length of the front sides of AB and AC, AB and AC, we write on AF x centimeter. If AF is x, no doubt A is also x centimeter. A is also what? x centimeter. Yes, very interesting problem. solution <clears throat> so given the radius is also given of radius 4 centimeter this one is also 4 centimeter this one is also 4 centimeter one by one return let we write first radius OD is equal to OE is equal to 
OF is equal to what? 4 centimeter. Okay. Uh, then BD. BD is equal to 8 centimeter. And CD 6 centimeter. These are given. Correct now? These are all given. AE is equal to AF x centimeter. We write on x centimeter. AE is equal to AF that is equal to what? x centimeter. Okay. To find what are those? AB. AB is what from figure? AB is a thing but AE plus B written on A is X X plus 5 AB is equal to X plus 5 and AC AC is what AF plus CF AF is what X plus 6 so we return all these things according to the theorem 2 ok by theorem 2 we write all these things we have to find out this to find. So that means firstly we find the value of x. Correct now we find the value of x. Heron's formula we know in uh, I think you know in 8th or 9th class. Heron's formula according to the Heron's formula 2s according to the Heron's formula 2s is equal to what? Uh, AB plus BC plus AC. Correct? 2S. 2S is equal to A to B X plus 8. X plus 8. Plus BC 6 plus 8. AC X plus 6. 2S is equal to. See, observe here. It is how much? 8 plus 6 14 yes na 6 8 x plus x 2 x 8 plus 8 16 16 plus 6 22 22 plus 6 28 correct once again 8 plus 8 because very careful 8 plus calculation oriented problem 8 plus 8 16 correct 16 plus 6 I think it is 22, 12, 1, 22, 22 plus 6, 28. So, to take common, 2 common, 2s is equal to, if I take to x plus 14, to, to get cancelled, s is equal to x plus 14. I write here, s is equal to x plus 14, one value we got it. This is first, s is equal to x plus 14. Okay, then again area of triangle according to the Heron's formula, Heron's formula area of triangle, area of triangle ABC, S into S minus A, I think you learn in ninth class, minus A. A, B, C are the sides. This is nothing but A, this complete value. A, this complete value. B, and this complete value. C, okay. Small letter A, B, C. According to the Heron's formula, that implies already we find the value of S. S is what? X plus 14. X plus 14. One by one, be carefully substituted x plus 14 minus a a means what x plus 8 minus x minus 8 plus into minus what minus x plus 14 minus x plus 8 if you multiply by minus minus x minus 18 this is over yes one more yes minus b yes is what x plus 14 minus b b is what 8 plus 6 8 plus 6 is what? 14. This is over. Cut. 8 plus 6 is 14. 
Oke. Okay. In then. X plus 14. X plus 14 minus X minus 6. Correct? Minus minus X minus 6. That is area of triangle ABC. So we kept this one as it is. X plus 14. What here? Minus X plus 6 get cancelled. 14 minus 8. It is 6. One value, correct? Carefully. Minus 14 plus 14 get cancelled into x. So here also minus x plus x get cancelled. 14 minus 6. It is 8. Eight into six. Calculate. X into correct forty eight because we uh, we have to very carefully. Calculate all these values. Area of triangle ABC. Up to this, it is correct. Eight. It is six. Okay, this forty-eight we return as sixteen into three. Correct, na? This forty-eight we return as this forty-eight we return as sixteen into three. This one is over. X into because better we multiply x inside. It becomes x square plus fourteen x. X square plus fourteen x. So that implies sixteen from we take outside of the square root four root of. 3 into x square plus 14x. This is what area of triangle ABC. Area of triangle according to the Heron's formula. According to the Heron's formula, area of triangle area of triangle ABC. I write here above. According to the Heron's formula, area of triangle A B C is equal to four into square root of three x square plus fourteen x. Call it as one. Okay. So once again, we find because we have to find out the value of x. For that, observe here. One more formula you learn. Area of triangle means. So for that, what I do? I join OA, OC, OB. Okay, I write here. Join OA, OB, and OC. This is one. I rub it. This is one. So area of triangle. From figure, area of triangle ABC. Once again, I find area of triangle ABC. Area of triangle ABC is nothing but area of triangle OBC. Area of triangle OBC. OBC. This is called as one triangle. This is one. I rub here. Observe here. I rub this one plus. Area area of triangle OBA this one O 
बी ए वो बी ए दिस वन दिस वन प्लस एरिया ऑफ ट्रायंगल वो ए सी इफ यू आर दीज थ्री ट्राइंगल्स वी गोट वी गोट एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल ए बी सी वो ए सी वो ए सी वट वी डू वी फाइंड इंडिविजली एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल ओ बी सी फर्स्ट वन नंबर वन एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल ओ बी सी हाफ इंटू बेस इंटू हाइट हाफ बेस बेस इज वॉट बी सी बेस इज वॉट बी सी हाइट इज वॉट ओ डी हाफ इंटू बी सी एट प्लस सिक्स फोर्टीन ओ डी फोर टू वन जा टू टू जा How much? Twenty-eight centimeters square. One is over. Second one. Area of triangle. Which one? O B A. Again half into O. Observe here from the diagram. O B A base. Base is what? A B. Height is what? O E. Half into base. A B. A B is what? X plus eight into O E is what four two ones are two two zero that is two into X plus eight centimeter square two into X plus eight centimeter square okay third one I write here third one area of triangle. This one we kept as it is, okay? Because we use next one. Area of triangle. Which one is? O A C. O A C. Half into base. Base is what? A C. Height. Height is what? O F. That is it. I substitute here. That is equal to half. A C. Half into A C is what? X plus six. Height is what? Four. Two ones are. Two two zero get cancel. Two into x plus six. Two into x plus six. Okay, that implies. That implies area of area of triangle ABC is equal to area of triangle area of triangle ABC area of triangle OBC twenty eight. This is over plus two into x plus eight. This is also over two into x plus eight plus two into x plus six. Two into x plus six. Correct, na? Two into x plus six. Twenty-eight. Two x plus sixteen. Two x plus twelve. 4x plus calculate these two very carefully. 6 plus 12, 28. 28 plus 28, 16 carry 156. 14 threes are. Else 13 fours are. Oh, 14 threes are 56. Fourteen fours are four four is six one. Okay, then this not in plus area of triangle ABC. So we take four common x plus thirty. Observe here fourteen three is are. That's how you guys calculate here fourteen three is are. Sorry fourteen fours are. Fourteen four four is six one fifty six x. If you take four column x plus fourteen four into x plus fourteen. Okay. This is one more result. Two. 
from observe here from 1 and 2 LHS is same area of triangle ABC area of triangle ABC if LHS is same RHS is also same so I write here from 1 and 2 4 into x plus 14 is equal to 4 into square root of 3 x square plus 14 x so I rub all these things ok 4 4 get cancelled so to remove the square root it's not to remove the square root squaring on both sides x plus 14 whole square 3 into x square plus 14 x so it is in the form of a plus b whole square x square 14 square 196 i think 14 into 14 196 correct na 4 4 za 16 carry 1 4 5 1 4 1 as yes, 196 plus 2ab 2 into 14 means 28 correct x 3x square plus 14 3 is 12 1 42 x correct 3 4 is 12 carry 1 3 1 is 3 3 42 x so we shifted all this from left side to right side 3x square minus x square plus 42x minus 20, 28x minus 196 is equal to 0. So all these terms if I shift from left side to right side becomes minus 3x square minus x square is 2x square. So 42, 28, 14 plus 14x correct now 14 plus 28 42. Okay, minus 196 is equal to 0. Okay, this we got what the quadratic, the quadratic equation divided by 2 x square plus 7x divided 196 by 2 to 9 is 18. So, 8 is 16 equal to 0. Okay, this is a quadratic equation. Uh, so, AC is what? Minus 98. And then, B term, it is 7. If you multiply two terms, it becomes minus 98. And if you add two terms, 14 sevens are 98. Okay. So what I do, this I can split in, I solve in factorization. 14x minus 7x minus 98 is equal to 0. In this term, I take common x x plus 14 in this term i take minus 7 common x plus 14 is equal to 0 x minus 7 into x plus 14 is equal to 0 x minus 7 is equal to 0 or x plus 14 is equal to 0 that implies x is equal to 7 or x is equal to minus 14 so this value we cannot take because since x is length, length is always not negative, that implies x is equal to what? 7 centimeter. x is equal to 7 centimeter. Up to this, we find the value of x, 7 centimeter. But what he asked, he asked the length of AB and AC. Okay. From figure, I write here from figure a b x plus 8 Radna a b is equal to what x plus 8 7 plus 8 7 plus 8 is how much 15 centimeter 
so right here ab is equal to 7 plus 8 15 centimeter one is over then one more one more was ac ac is what af plus cf that's not from figure af plus cf af af is 6 6 plus 7 ac is equal to what 13 centimeter the length of therefore therefore the length of the length of length of ab and ac are 15 centimeter and 13 centimeter 15 centimeter and 13 centimeter very lengthy problem so carefully you have to observe 15 centimeter and 13 centimeter this completes the circle chapter yes na up to 13 problems i covered so worked examples three problems are there so you better to solve so this complete the circle chapter 4 thank you